this is Teresa Dubale welcome to my youtube channel in this video I will share you the first part of steel and timber structures working examples which is example 5 so see the previous videos for more detail and like and subscribe for more videos if you are new to my youtube channel please like and subscribe for more videos and this is this lecture continues to the others courses and this is about tension members uh, which is the working example on tension members example 5 like from example 1 of to 4 are done before uh, on the previous videos so in this video I will share you the this one example 5 about the angle section angle section an, in, an, an equal angle section connected by one leg using one bolt. So the question is determine the tensile strength of the following angle section this time with this dimension connected with another member using a single voltage as shown below. A steel grade of this and 12 mm diameter bolts are used. See this figure, this is the angled section. So Please follow me attentively. It may be slightly some difference from the plate ones, the, from the previous examples. So follow me attentively on these lectures. Like and subscribe to Pan Engineering Academy YouTube channel. So the given the given is the connected leg width is 120 millimeter and unconnected leg width is 120 millimeter. The angle thickness. Diameter of the bolt chunk, number of bolts, number of rows, the eccentricity 1, 100 mm, and the eccentricity 2, 700 mm, ultimate strength, yield strength, partial safety factors. So, the required one is the tensile strength of the steel angle section. So, the whole clearance is 1 mm, and the whole diameter is 13 mm, which is below 40 mm, and the gross area of the cross section is this one. When this time is with this. So this number indicates when we are doing the gross area for the angle section, we have to minimize the, or to deduct the value of thickness from the perimeters. So when we deduct this, then the value of the gross area should be this one. And the design plastic resistance of the gross section is area times the strength times so partial safety factor so the area this one and this so it will be this one and the design ultimate distance of the net section at the bolt is calculated slightly different from the previous formulas so in this formula um, this is a center city one center and the diameter of hole times thickness times this so when we insert the numbers this this is center to diameter or the whole diameter so the result should be this one when you perform this on the calculator it, sh it should be it will be simple by inserting numbers to the formulas so the tensile resistance is taken the minimum of the plastic resistance and the ultimate resistance so the minimum one is this one the minimum is this number so and the second part of this video e lecture is the example 6 that is an, an unequal angle section connected by two voltages in a single row the previous, the previous one, one is equal angle section so this is unequal angle section so uh, Follow me attentively, it may be different from the previous one also. An angle section 200 to 100 to 50 millimeters connected with another member using two volts in a single row as shown below. A steel grade of this determined the tensile strength of the angle provided that the connection is made by the shorter leg and the, the diameter of the bolt will be 20 millimeters. So, see the figure this. And this 60 and 20, center 61, and this is P1. And the givens are this one connected leg with this 100, and unconnected one 200, angle of thickness, diameter of the pole chunk, number of poles, number of rows, 
in eccentricity 1 and this is p1 ultimate resistance yield is partial safety factors and the required one is the tensile strength of the steel angle unequal angle section so the di hole clearance is 2 mm the diameter this will be taken from the table from the ifs 3 1995 hole diameter 22 mm and the gross area of the cross section will be uh, deduct the thickness of the this is the perimeter I think the perimeter so deduct the thickness of the plate and multiply by the thickness so this is the cross area and when if the connected if the it is connected by the smaller leg the gross area of cross section is going to be 2 times 100 and minus 50 times 50 so this is the gross area if the if the plate is connected by smaller leg and so the net area of the cross section along line a along line a so the gross area is the minimum one and this is the hole diameter and thickness the number of holes is one so when you calculate this one it gives this this is the net area along line a and the design plastic resistance of the gross section is calculated by using these formulas and when we insert the numbers to this it will be this, this and the output is this one so this is the design plastic resistance of the gross section and the design ultimate resistance of the net section at the bolt hole to calculate this one we have to first check the ratio of p1 to d0 the whole diameter so in our case the now the value of p1 is 120 and the whole diameter is 22 millimeter so when we divide this the number is this 5.455 so p1 is greater than 5 times d0 so we are going to use these formulas to calculate the design ultimate resistance of the next section so when we plug the numbers on this formula the result will be this And the tensile resistance is taken the minimum of the plastic and the ultimate resistance so the minimum one is this one so in today's video we have seen two examples of oh, the first one is an angle an equal angle section and the second part is an equal angled section so in the next video I will share you another working example about tension members so like and subscribe for more videos thank you for watching thank you